Welcome to Warsaw. We arrived to Warsaw last night after a three hour train ride from Donsk, where we spent five nights and fell in love with Poland. Warsaw is the capital and largest city, so there's a lot to see, but we only have two days here, so let's go. One thing I will say right away about Warsaw, it is significantly colder than anywhere we've been on this trip so far. It's 29 right now. It's 29, it feels a little bit colder. It's very brisk and we don't have the heaviest of jackets because we're traveling so light this trip. So it is kicking us a little bit. It is so cold. So this place holds quite a bit of weight. They were in a pretty precarious situation in World War II with Germany on one side and Russia on the other, both invading simultaneously. Warsaw especially suffered some of the most casualties of any city that was invaded during World War II. Something that's very interesting and saddening, and it's hard not to walk these walls and feel the weight of that. I get the sense that the Polish are remarkably resilient people with everything that they've gone through over the years. They have stood strong once communism ended in 1989, and especially since about 2004, Warsaw has seen a modern resurgence they are just going up and up. Yeah, and we're not big history buffs, but the two cities we've been to are so different. How they show their history and, and how they honor the past. I love it here. We are walking along the Royal Way. It's like the main vein of Warsaw. There's restaurants, shops, museums, architecture. The Royal Palace is right on here. So this is kind of the heart of Warsaw. We are currently cold and taking in the views of the presidential palace. It's weird because there's like no guards and like no barricades like our White House. Yeah, way like, different. You just walk in. I mean, you can't, but like you can walk right up to it. We just walked this really cool place that said lobster restaurant. Yeah. At the lobster house. I said, let's get some bisque. It's so cool. Soup sounds good. We went up and saw the menu and it was $20 for a bowl of soup. <laughs> So normally we would just walk and walk and walk. It is freezing out. Is so, so we need to spend some more time indoors. So we're gonna try and find a bar or a coffee shop, something to or go inside so that we can, yeah, something uh, that we can go inside to warm up. The churches aren't heated either. So when we like go in to look at the churches, you like don't get a brief warm up. So <laughs> it's way too cold. Yeah. It is snowing. You can't see it. Cause it's like the tiniest little snowflakes, yeah. but. 29 and snowing. It's pretty though. Check this out. We found a ramen shop, so we're gonna go fill up on soup. I asked for mine extra spicy. She was like, do you want it really spicy? I was like, yeah, really spicy is good. Uh, and she was like, really, really spicy? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, really, really, really spicy? I said, yeah, that one. So we'll see how hot it is. Alyssa went with a pork neck tantan men and I got a shoyu ramen. The noodles are really good. They're really al dente and toothsome. Yeah, they're chewy. And in my bra, definitely a level up with that super spicy sauce. It's got like a seaweed type of flavor to it. Some dried fish, it's really good. And it's hot, it's so hot. <laughs> Our bill was 100 salty, which is $20. And we got a giant jug of hot sauce to go. <laughs> they were so sweet. If you're here in Warsaw, you need to come here. Yachty Ramen, it's amazing. Yeah, they did a really good job. I feel warmer. <laughs> Mission accomplished. So now we are headed to the Holy Cross Church. It's free to tour and supposedly the musician Chopin, the composer, his heart is kept within one of the pylons of the church. His actual heart? Yeah, dude. Like there's a bunch of famous- I you said we're going to go see a bench. No, well that might happen. This, you yeah. You're going to go see a heart? Yeah, so they've kept all the hearts of these famous Polish people, including the composer Chopin. Are you sure you're translating that right? <laughs> I think so. I did have my phone out and I was like reading it with the Google Translate, so maybe that's true, maybe it's not. Let's go find out. I told you the bench sings. 
press this button. These Chopin benches are all over the city. Not all of them work, but if you press the button, they'll play one of his songs. That is the coolest. That's really cool. And you know, we love a good bench. Yeah, top tier bench here. <laughs> the people can't get enough. to sit on like I don't want to like be rude and sit on his bench so I was right basically what happened in 1849 at 39 years old Chopin passed away and the countrymen kept his heart and they pickled it in some sort of like a cognac mixture even the Nazis when they invaded they allowed the Polish people to keep this and now it is entombed inside one of the walls of the Holy Cross Church crazy I freaking told you! Weird. Cool. <laughs> Weird. One of the main differences I've noticed here versus like Donsk where we just were is when they rebuilt that city you can definitely tell they were trying to keep like that old style and that historical old European vibe but here is totally different. It's like they modernized everything. It's all very Disney-esque like because it was built after World War II Everything is like relatively new, but they tried to make it look old. So it looks like a prop or like a stage. It's cool, but like so weird. Another thing that I find kind of interesting is they have all these Christmas lights up and there's this huge Christmas tree in the main square. None of them are lit. It's now December 2nd. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure what they're waiting for. Plus it gets dark at like 3.30 PM here. We've entered some sort of a train station for warmth. It seems to be working and we haven't been kicked out yet. So we have no idea where we are. There's also no escalator etiquette here because everyone wants to ride the escalator as long as possible so no one is in a hurry to rush by you. So we've stumbled on this Christmas market that's just one narrow alleyway. There's not too many stalls and the lights still aren't on so <laughs> Maybe there's a lighting tonight, because I heard one of the markets started on Friday, so hopefully they light them up tonight. Brandon's decided on some chestnuts. So one of the things I haven't touched upon, every time you play with your card, they'll give you the option to either pay in US dollars or in the local currency. Always choose to pay in the local currency because your bank will give you a better exchange rate than those machines ever will. It'll save you a little bit of money along the way, but always choose the local currency. So normally they're like cracked open and shelled. So all you really have to do is get the meat out, but this one you gotta work for a little bit more. It surprised me the first time that I had these how soft they are. Because they're not like a normal nut. Oh, these ones are very sweet. There might be some salt on there, but I don't think there's any seasoning other than the smoky fire. They're so soft, they're so warm. It's good, full of umami. It's almost the flavor of a walnut. Yeah, still not a fan of those. <laughs> Brandon's gonna eat all of them. <laughs> yeah, I like them. I think maybe it's an acquired taste, but it's smoky, sweet, buttery. It's the texture, I think. Yeah, they are really, really soft. I like them though. It, I don't know that it's worth taking the gloves off because now I can't feel anything north of my wrist, but they are good. They turned the lights on. Finally. So now we have out. a Christmas market. It's so pretty. 4 p.m. The first Friday of December. This is what we've been waiting for. 
Let me remind you one more time, it's 4 p.m. right now. <laughs> This is the market that's inside the center of Old Town in Old Town Square. There's an ice skating rink. Nobody's skating yet, but it's cute. There's some people selling the smoked cheese that we got in Dansk, some sausage vendors. Hot wine, hot chocolate. Yeah, the usual fries, suspects. Dumplings, brogies. It's cute. The lights are a game changer. We were here last night before they had turned the lights on and it was not nearly this beautiful. It's so twinkle. cool. And it's so cold that I do wish this place was covered in snow, but we'll take what we can get. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. We came to warm up. We've wound up, we're eating hummus and pepperoni and drinking some beers and now we're in. Before we show you day two, don't forget to subscribe. We still have 50 days left in Europe. It's snowing so Brandon's gonna go do a walking video. I'm not going because the he needs to wear stopped. all of the clothes. I missed it. No, you'll still be able to catch it. Let's check out our other channel, Virtual Walks, where Brandon does 20 to 40 minute walks through new places that we visit. I was out filming a walking video and I walked by this bakery, it looked too good. So now I have a bunch of stuff and I didn't bring the backpack. So I just have to carry this like a mile back to the Airbnb for Alyssa. So I walked pretty far, I'm like 45 minutes away and I'm too excited to see what these pastries are all about. So I'm gonna open them up here at this park and then I obviously save some for Alyssa, but then I can eat them along the way cause I have a long walk still. All right, so we got three. This all came to $2, maybe $2 and 20 cents. This one is a caramelized onion and cheese pastry. <laughs> Looks pretty good, it's super flaky. Mm. You know what? I thought it was caramelized onion. It's actually mushroom. It's got that mushroom flavor, but it's not overpowering. This actually works really well. I don't know necessarily that I would have ordered this one, but I'm super glad I did. Man, that is tasty. This next one, I already took a bite of, but it is this cinnamon situation. It's like a cinnamon roll, cinnamon chonka, I think it was called. So there's these crystals on here. I thought they were salt, but it turns out they're just coarse ground sugar. It's really good. So this one is so sticky that it actually stuck to the package. This is the one I'm most excited about. It's some sort of a glazed donut. There's some crystallized something, maybe orange apricot, something like that. Let's try. Mm. Ooh, it is orange. I want that glaze. It's like um, almost like the flavor of an orange Julius with like the bread and that crystallized orange. But the orange is candied on top. The rest of it tastes like orange, but it's very, very subtle. This is bomb. Well, this is gonna like this one. We decided on lunch. We are going to Fret at Porter. It is a Polish restaurant in the new town. We have not eaten Polish food aside from when we ate at the Christmas market. So I'm excited to have a real sit down meal. For sure. Let's see how it goes. This is the first schnitzel that I have had, and I've been dying to have it since we got to Poland. The batter is perfectly crispy, golden brown. The potatoes have a little bit of dill on them, which I really like, and they're not overly salty, but they're perfectly fluffy mashed potatoes, and it's served with like a sauerkraut salad. There's something about the pork and the sauerkraut with that potato that just goes so well. I was gonna get the salad, and I'm really pumped I didn't. The salmon is amazing. It's super hot, and it comes with these amazing little dumplings on a creamy white sauce with spinach. So, so good. Capers, lemon, the whole thing, amazing. All right, so lunch is done, walking video is done. Alyssa has edited a video, it's beautiful out here. This is our first like full-fledged stuck on the ground snow. We didn't get to see any coming down really in Stockholm. So this is our first snowy day and it is quite majestic. We were saying how cold it was yesterday in Warsaw and that we were freaking freezing and there wasn't even snow. So at least we have this beautiful scenery to show for it. Here's a quick update. This is our Airbnb and all of these pins are everything we still need to see. Yesterday we mainly walked, today we're gonna use the Metro and the buses to 
try and see as much as possible. The public transit here is so nice. So this behind me is the Palace of Culture and Science. On the 30th floor, they have a viewing deck that you can access for 25 schwalti. Unfortunately, the lines are a little bit too long, so we're gonna skip it this time. But if you come to Warsaw, definitely check this out. I had no idea that we would love Poland so much. I feel like no one says like, you have to go to Poland. They're always like, you gotta go to Amsterdam. You have to go to Paris. You have to go to Poland. It's our second city. We're going to our third tomorrow. I'm loving all of it. This freaking mall. I don't know why I thought Poland would be like desolate. <laughs> like it's beautiful and so modern and cheap. Come to Poland. Right next to the Palace of Culture and Science is this gigantic mall. It's probably the ignorant American in me, but I did not expect to see a massive super mall in the middle of Warsaw. It was magnificent. One of the coolest malls we've been to, and we've been to the Mall of America and the Mall of Canada. I mean, I guess I would call this the Mall of Poland. It's a must visit, even if you don't buy anything. We have made it to our next destination, Food Hall Electronica. The Food Hall is obviously attached to a really amazing mall too. The Christmas decorations at the two malls that we've been in so far have been amazing. Look at this place. This is a different mall. I freaking love Poland. All the neon in this place is amazing. There's so many options. I don't think that we're gonna have time to eat because we're trying to catch a light show but this is a fantastic place. Ah, I wish we had more time. Okay, on to the light show. So the buses don't have the tap to pay, but they have little ticket machines on board that you can pay with a card. So that makes it really convenient. So we've ridden a tram, I mean a metro and a bus now, super easy. Still paying with our credit card only, no cash needed. at the multimedia park fountain and during the winters at 4 5 and 6 p.m on the weekends they do a show during the summertime this is a full-fledged fountain with lights and music to its show but during the winter time it's just strung lights since the water would be freezing right now we're here for the last showing it starts in 20 minutes so much bigger than i expected So Brandon can find no official information about this fountain being an actual show at, like on the hour. So we're just here waiting and hoping that something happens. Oh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> There's no one else here waiting also. 6.03, there's no show. I think Brandon wants me to sing for him now. <laughs> no show here, <laughs> but it is still a pretty sight even though nothing happened at six o'clock. You won't believe this. It started, but it's late. And now we're all the way upstairs. We gotta run down on these icy stairs so that we can see it. We got all the way to the top of the stairs at 6.09 the thing started. Brandon's so pissed right now, I love it. <laughs> Ten minutes in and the show's still going. It's so long. It's so cool. I'm glad we ran back down the stairs to catch it. I tried to tell her it existed. She didn't believe me. All right, tomorrow we're headed to Krakow. This is it for Warsaw. Two Th days. I feel like we killed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like travel videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time. From another city in Poland or from the train. We got first class for the next train. Big baller. Ooh. Weren't you gonna say something? Oh, we only had two nights in Warsaw, but I feel like we covered a lot of it. Like the most we could possibly do. This we is, did really well. This is 100% a place that I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface of, and I'm totally in for a return trip. Yeah, definitely.